Hi there, it's March 16th, 2023, and something happened on March 13th, and I knew I needed to make a video and waited for this beautiful morning. I'm sitting at the Intercoastal Waterway. Uh, beyond that, the water is the barrier island of Flagler Beach, where I am, and then the the Atlantic Ocean is just a few blocks in. But if you see that dock uh, with boardwalk, that is what I was referring to in my last video where God sent me to pray for others in a magical way. Uh, so it just, I always felt when I got here, Flagler Beach, I didn't never even heard of Flagler Beach, an absolute miraculous story how I got here. Someday I will share. But um, in, in, uh, but I felt and I wrote my group, one of my groups that I, you know, I feel like there's this major vortex here and I feel that this is, I'm in an, in an extension of it right now. So I sit here for this message today because of what happened on March 13 in the wee hours, uh, God gave me a vision and I was in a lucid sleep and I recall it and it was pretty striking to say the least and I heard the words something like it must be done so then later that morning I listened to this video a long-awaited video of uh, a spiritual leader whom I trust and believe in. And she said that on March 13th, she was going to uh, share what an angel had told her in late January. So I've been waiting for weeks to hear what this is was about. I knew it would be profound. And as I watch this video, my jaw just dropped because the end result that I saw was what she described in a much fuller way I won't give more detail than that because um, I'm having a hard time getting out there these days, very censored, and I'm trying to maintain what presence I do have, what little presence I do have these days. So, I do believe many Red Sea moments are ahead there has been so much divine intervention, we're just not necessarily aware of it. But certainly, for instance, what happened in Georgia um, with that certain statue, evil statue, I know uh, a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was divine intervention in my view. So many things are happening and God is connecting with us through you know, we're getting messages through so many of us getting the same kind of messages so that we then go out to the people that we know and share them to understand that we are not alone. We will get through these times and God does win in the end. The light wins, we win. I feel it important to, for those of you new to my work, how this all started for me, my connection working with God. In 1994, I was literally on my knees, praying to God, help me, help me, help me, help me. And God came into my life in a huge way uh, that I would never have expected. I was literally receiving messages from who I believe is God, uh, telepathically, hours at a time. On this one day, October 2nd, 1994, a divine white light came into my right eye and changed me forevermore. That day I was receiving messages from God for about 10 hours. My kids were little at the time, so I was you know, taking care of them too, but there was just this influx of messages. And then these words came into, into my mind, but it, they weren't my words to ask, but I just they just came through me and I said, am I chosen? And that's when this 
divine white light came into my right eye. And, and let me just say, this is, this is not ego. So many of you watching are chosen. This is all about being chosen to help awaken humanity to spirituality, to God, to um, everything, all, all these things, you know, working with God, connecting to God, synchronicity. Synchronicity in my life was all of a sudden just thrust into my life, off the charts, magical. I wrote, I can see clearly now about 12 years worth of experiences of just many jaw-dropping signs that I received because I wanted people to see that God is talking to us in so many ways, and one of them is through signs through synchronicities, through these meaningful coincidences. So right there, God is talking to us. God is also talking to us through whispers. You know, turn left, not right. Could be our angels. Our angels are, God brought us all these amazing angels to help us, but we have free will, so we have to ask for that assistance and when we do our life changes so my life was never the same and since that date and then archangel michael i started channeling him in in um 2001 so over 21 years now and god is like wanting me to you know literally ask that you connect with him not be scared to talk to him and to expect an answer and how about converse can you have a conversation with god as that famous author neil donald wash wrote books on that was after my experience with god and i was like i a lot of people didn't believe him i did because <laughs> i was experiencing it as well as many of you so we, so we each have to ask ourselves, are we going to listen to the lying and deceiving political leaders, the lying, gaslighting, deceiving virus of that conventional media is, the deceiving, manipulating uh, celebrity uh, royalty that we, too many people still follow, the letter agencies are we going to listen to that still after all that has happened or do we instead listen to god do we listen to god and stop being lied to deceived so god is inviting us to connect like never before you may have noticed in my last video, my important message video, I was talking about the solar flash and how our evolution is coming through the sun. And at one point I was decreeing that darkness leave all of us, the entities, all the influence, so much of our suffering is because of that, ultimately. and. Um, and then just when I said that um, with the light, you know, to heal, heal that, to take it away and that light come in and heal that, now um, there was like a flash of light. I don't know if you noticed this, I'm gonna replay it right now. And healing of those areas take its place with light taking its place now. And there were other signs in the video. There's hopefully signs today. I would love to see a dolphin. Sometimes they're here. Um, amazing messengers, but, um, and birds. Thank you. <laughs> birds are amazing messengers, as you know. So, I think that's my cue right now. I know that God wanted to come through me with a message.
and I and I will um, try to keep my eyes open during it. I when I channel at home, I close my eyes to receive, but I'm going to try and keep the. I think the connection the connection is important, so I will do my best. I ask that you consider the possibility that God can come through with a message through me as God can come through you with a message. We are all the same. It is a matter of choice and do we wish to connect with God. We can all get the answers and they're all right through our hearts. Could it be that it was really me? I tell you it is. And I'm gonna ask you straight away to go into your heart right now and feel my presence. Feel my presence in your heart. Yes, it is I. And I desire as God to come through you, through all of you who choose to receive my messages. I will help you navigate through these times. I will protect you. I will ensure your safety. No matter how things look, I ask you to put your full trust in me now, starting now, starting today. Release the fears. Release them now. I will tap you on your shoulder when I need to remind you to let go of the fear, for this is the way through these times to keep this connection flowing, the most powerful connection you can have. And as many of you know, I've sent you so many angels to help you through these times. Call on them, call on me. You are not alone. Those aren't mere words. You are not alone whatsoever. I ask you that after this message, and you shut your computer for a while, that you, if you so choose, connect with me on your own and get your own message and messages and see where that takes you. I am here and I love you beyond what words could ever express. Just hold on, you're gonna see things happen, trust me.